All right, welcome back, everybody. I am ready for another episode of Bomber Crew. And I think it's going to start getting a little bit more challenging here as we get into some of these later missions. Uh, there are some things that are available to my uh, people here that I've got to consider. Um, flag helmet, for example, it gives a little bit more of a bonus. Uh, and if I equip everybody with those, it'll cost me about a thousand. So I might not be quite there yet. The main thing I want to work on right now is uh, my aircraft. I did go ahead and make one little change. Uh, on the design and that is on the wing art I put these round dots uh, nothing fancy for now but we'll get to more fancy things after this um, I want to look at the engines for just a second I've been adding a lot of armor to the fuselage which makes it heavier uh, I want to start uh, getting better engines uh, there's this armored engine which gives a nice boost to uh, armor but also decreases the amount of weight that they can carry and those are 1700 just for one engine the standard engine is a little less, but it's still a boost in armor over the uh, standard engine Mark II that, or Mark I that I have, but gives us a nice bonus to weight limit increase. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put two uh, standard engines. I'm going to do the, the starboard and port outer engines, uh, raise them to the standard Mark II. That's going to give me a nice weight limit increase, but also some armor on those engines, which I think will be helpful moving forward. I've actually still got some money available to me here. So I think maybe we'll start with our pilot uh, and get him the new headgear, the flak helmet Mark I. What else do we have? Uh, it's just uh, leather gloves. Um, nah. Maybe we'll go with the... Uh, let's see, maybe our one of our gunners with the headgear, flak helmet Mark I. All right, we'll work on getting those for the others here pretty soon. We haven't lost anybody yet. We've only come close a few times. We've got a major mission uh, coming up here. We could do another search and rescue first uh, before we go into that mission. Maybe that's the way to go uh, just because it gives me a chance to load up a little bit more before I get into Operation Chariot, which is a big one. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and do this search and rescue mission first get a little bit more money that I can invest back in, get my guys leveled up a little bit more, and then we'll go down the route of that next mission. Alright, so let's do this. I feel like I'm getting a little bit better handle on this, although I haven't played it for a couple of days now. Raise the gear. So standard search and rescue, we're going to be dropping supplies. We have to stay at a low altitude for that. We're going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit here so we can get uh, get where we need to be a little quicker. I would guess we're going to probably run into enemy fighter activity before we get to that spot but we'll see all right let's go ahead to our next course plot here and that's probably about what we're looking for because that's over uh, over the channel a good bit of the ways toward France should be watching for fighters. I expect they're going to be coming anytime now. I know, I know, low altitude. All right, enemy fighter spotted right as I spot him. So we're going to go ahead and have to get our guy into position. We're going to drop these supplies and then we're going to worry about those fighters because we're almost already there. There you go, dude. Wow, that was really fast. I already lost an engine. 
Jeez, why is it not letting me look at the right part of my plane? All right, probably because of what's happening here. Okay, let's go ahead and get him out here. Grab that real quick. Come on, dude. We're going to lose that engine. That's a brand new engine. I just built that thing. I need to hurry up and get him assigned to that task so I can start uh, fighting these fighters. Okay. Next task. I need to turn the heck around. I've flown over France unnecessarily here. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of fighters coming my way. And I didn't get all of them. Alright, we got the fire put out. I need to get you back in that gun. Dang, getting lit up. Oh, there's more coming, excellent. That's a lot of fighters. Running low on ammo, of course we are. Electrical system malfunction. All right, go deal with that. Oh, we gotta go out and repair that engine, too. Radar's out. Okay. We're dropping planes left and right, though. Why am I going that way? That's not the way I want to go. dealing with these fighters and we're starting to get some nightfall so that's going to help. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do the optional recon opportunity. I'm going to get back to base and get ready for the big one. Marciniak, you need to go rest for a little bit there, buddy. I know that you're my navigator and all. I'm going to get somebody else navigating. No, we're going to keep going this way until we get another navigation spot. All right, I think he's okay now. Go on, go out there and repair. Marciniak, get back to your spot. Okay, I'm approaching London, but where the heck is my landing? Okay, there we go. system is malfunctioning. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Um, we're just trying to land right now, thanks. Here we go. I had to get my navigator back in position so I could start landing. We don't need oxygen. We're a little low altitude here. Lower the gear. 
All right, that was uh, quite an eventful little mission there, but now we come to the big one. So far, everybody has survived. Should be hitting some level four folks now. Most of them should be hitting level four here. Metahawk might be the exception. Yep. All right, corkscrew, interesting. Custom heading, thank you. Place a custom navigation marker via the navigator's map. Use it to avoid hazards. I've been wanting that. I didn't realize it was something I had to wait to unlock. I guess that makes sense though. Uh, we've got some new gun turrets available, plus ammo feed. So let's take a look at those real quick. I'm guessing ammo feed means I don't have to worry about reloading as much. With an ammo feed, ammo belts are automatically restocked without having to go to the ammo box. Excellent. A little less damage per second, but you have that bonus of being able to do that. What I'm hoping is eventually these guys can unlock the ability just to target folks themselves, and I don't even have to worry about dealing with that. That would be very nice. Um, oh, we can put a uh, upfront equipment rack. I don't have the money to do that yet, though. But that'll be a nice thing to add at some point. All right, we're going to go ahead and add the um, the helmets to whoever doesn't already have them, the flak helmets. There we go. Just enough money to do that. All right, it's time for the big mission. Uh, first, one of these critical missions that I've done thus far, Operation Chariot. We will be supporting a daring commando raid. This was a historical event. This was a really cool thing if you ever want to learn about it. It was one of those first real commando raids that happened in history. Uh, on the impenetrable U-boat base at St. Nazaire, they will ram the base in a ship packed with explosives before disembarking and detonating the charges. It will be quite the show. So what, are, what is it that we are doing exactly? It's medium duration, medium risk. So this is probably the first time I really have to worry about the possibility of losing crew. So i got to join the bomb boat and defend the ship. Alright, so this is kind of a big deal, I guess. Um, I'm a little nervous about this. I don't want to lose anybody. So far, I feel like... I mean, there have been some dangerous spots, but nothing I couldn't get out of. I feel like maybe I'm not skilled enough for this mission yet. not even really sure what my task is yet except where it just says join the bomb boat maybe I just have to deal with fighters I don't know or am I actually getting I'm not getting on this boat am I Maybe I should have watched a video of somebody else doing this mission so I know what to expect. So we're going right down the coast here, Devon, Cornwall. Oh yeah, see, now we can make our custom things. I like that. That's cool. Head out here to Land's End. So they're using a lot of fuel just to get to the first part of this mission. All right. So what is it that I'm supposed to do here? Enemy fighters already. Okay, so I guess that's what I'm going to be doing. protecting the ship against these guys. Alright, so we can't let anybody torpedo the, the boat. Gotcha.
Shoot him down, come on. Oh, we got a bomb run to make? Okay. I guess we gotta bomb these ships to protect the, the ship that's coming in. Ooh, there's uh, ominous music playing. I like it. It's a little more intense now. Oh, another target. Okay. Let's take that bad boy out. Doesn't give me a lot of time to play around with this. Dang, I gotta be quick. I'll save the rest of my bombs for the gun emplacements. Got it. Intense, man. Intense. This is pretty exciting. It's a little more involved than some of the other missions we've done. Enemy fighters on radar. Okay, where are they? Right there. I lost them. Oh, there they are. Okay. Okay, I'll take the emplacements. Okay, they, there, you didn't give me any targets. There we go. Ah, oh, the radar's out. All right, I gotta hit these emplacements first. Then I'll worry about that. Oh, I guess I got time. Go deal with that. Getting lit up. I don't like it. Okay. You reload. Now what? Another one. Okay. Can't be too many more of these. I've only got two sets of bombs left. Oh, he's still repairing that one. Okay. Ah, oh, jeez. A bunch more fighters that I haven't... Alright, I gotta deal with this bomb emplacement first. Oh, there goes an engine. My goodness. Alright, where are the fighters? Might have taken too long. Oh, I missed it. Okay, I gotta go back around for that one now. Darn it. Oh, what a mess. There's just too many things to manage at once. I'm about to lose some engines. I may have to bail out on this one. I gotta hit this target first before that. I'm about to lose my ship. Hit him. Okay. Get out there and repair the uh, the engine first. All right, prepare for the grand finale. Man, that was close. That was super close. I'm not out of the woods yet, though. Still got repairs that need to be made. All right, Ashley Hyatt, you go do your thing. Hawk, get back up there into that spot.
Corkscrew, sure, why not? Woo! <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. Of course, the enemy's not really on me right now. Whoa! Did I just kill? Oh, yeah. Dang. Okay, note to self. Don't do the corkscrew <laughs> when a guy's on the wing fixing it. I'm really sorry, Gallant. I killed you. I, I threw him right off that plane. What a stupid thing to do. I didn't even think about the fact that I had a guy out there. Oh, jeez, that was dumb. Lesson learned the hard way. Dang. I'm really sorry about that, man. We gotta get home. Uh, I feel miserable about that. My first man lost because I did something stupid that was completely unnecessary. And my pilot's down. Oh, jeez. Actually, we're gonna let you do this because you're already back here. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. Alright, I think we're about to die. Yeah. Well, I completed the mission, right? I mean, that's, that's the main thing here. Did anybody survive? Survival on land near Bomber. Is he going to be rescued? MIA. Ah, oh, KI. Ah, oh, jeez. So that's like the odds that he'll be found alive, right? Oh, no. Yes. Okay. Chris Marciniak, you were rescued. You are the only one who survived that mission. Wow. Not cool. All right, I think we're going to go back and replay that one, but I will upload this video just because it's really interesting to see what happens when it all goes horribly wrong at the last second. Uh, so there you have it, a lesson learned. I was starting to feel comfortable with the game, not so much anymore. So do not fear. All of you will still be alive. We're going to replay that mission, but I am going to upload this because I think it's entertaining and it's important to see what happens when you screw up. So thanks for watching. I welcome your input. I know a lot of ways I could have done much better with that, and now I am learning. Yeah, that's what you do. You learn by failure, and I failed horribly there. So thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you want to see more. Use the comment section below for your criticisms. Tell me how horrible I am at this game. I get it, but I'm going to continue to improve and hopefully entertain you in the process. So thanks, and we will see you again soon.